Blessed love family, welcome back to another episode of Montego Baby's Jamaican Cuisine. Today we are dealing with some big man thing. We are dealing with some steam fish. And not just the regular um, steam fish, but some epic steam fish. You know what I mean? We are dealing with it with some butter fish and we are steam it down proper. We have veg, we have all type of things. And we are not dealing with no rice. We are dealing with it with some food, some pumpkin, some yam. And some, um, we are dealing with some baked sweet potato to see them way up on top of that. So this thing here, may I tell you brother, like I said, big man thing. Strengthen up your back, your energy. And like I said, just straight nutritious throughout the body. You see me? So just stay tuned with me and check out that one and see what I'm going. Yeah. Alright, so see what we have going on your family. Everything kind of sliced up and uh, prepared, ready to go. You know what I mean? We have a fish cleaned. Uh, gutted everything, put a little seasoning on, on him already, make him go and sit down. We have a little corn, we have some spinach. If we have callaloo, that would have better. But since we are foreign, you can't really get callaloo in a certain places. So some spinach we are dealing with for that. We have we are red bell pepper. You know, we have some thyme, nice cup bumper thyme. A little bit of onion, a little bit of scallion. We have some carrot here. We have some okra here. And we already spliced up the, uh, the pumpkin. We already kind of cooked that off on the side. And we never really want to bore with them things. The simple thing is for cook, you see me? Basically, all you do is boil with that. With some salt, you know what I mean? And some butter. A little bit of olive oil. And then we have yam already cooked in the back there. Yam kind of ugly still, so I'm not really camera ready, you see me? So we have to put him on the side, cut him up, clean him up and boil him, make him good. And then we have we, uh, we sweet potato. What we do, we just wrap that up in some file paper and go on and make it bake in the oven, you see me? So, all those things are already kind of going, them things that, you know, them things they are the side dishes, what we are dealing with are the, are, the, are, the, are, the, are the main, the main part of the dish here, you see me? So, everything kind of set right now, so basically what we'll do, we'll go ahead and get the stove ready, and we'll get him ready for steam down. Boy, you will really enjoy that one, yeah. I mean, tell us if you could have tasted it. Woo! Hear that? Alright, so, we head over to the stove, and we'll show you how we put all this thing together. Alright, so we got everything over, moved over to the stove here now, so it's time for the cooking process, part of things, you know. So, what we do, we use some butter. When I talk about spread, we talk about actual butter, you see me? So, let's get a nice little piece of butter and go and make that melt in your pot. Let me do my like kind of coat my whole pot, you know what I mean? From from the side all the way around and make it go and melt and come down. Just like that. I will put another little piece. But not right now. I'll do it when it starts steam down a little bit more. So just make that go and melt up a little bit. It melt off a little bit more, then we'll start adding the thing, isn't it? So, it look kind of good right now. So, how do we reach for a uh, little, uh, little ingredients over this side here? So, we have a little onion. We are going to add that first. You always want to put your onion or your scallion first to kind of go on and get merry. So, a little onion. And you add your little scallion here. Go on, mix this around a little bit. Sweat it out a little bit, you see? I mean, if you had, a, if you had a, you know, some olive oil, you can use some olive oil the same way. You know, if you wanted to do that, but for me, I just like steam it down with straight butter, you know? Eat a nice creamy flavor. When it's all said and done. So I'll go and sweat this out a little bit. You know, add in the rest of the stuff there. And I really want to do this too long because all of this are kind of cooking as some cook down in the, in the sauce, you know. You just kind of get things going here. Normally, we're going to do at this point while it is sweet. I'll add a little bit of salt. Okay? So I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of salt right now. Half a teaspoon go on run with that. 
That way when you add in your water, the veg already kind of seasoned a little bit, you know. Half a teaspoon of salt for this right now. Sweat out nice and beautiful. Next step we are gonna do, we are gonna add with carrot. We have the carrot here. We're gonna add those in. Okay. You really have to worry about cooking this too long at this stage. So like I said, once you add the, uh, the water, just all cover this and make it steam. Fish now will really take a long time to cook. They want to kind of get a lot of this stuff going ahead of time, you know? So like move this around a little bit. Sweat it out. Okay. Let's see, just hit a light, a light, like a light, like a Alright, so looking good here. So we have the next, we have add some water. So we'll probably put about, and yeah, we'll probably about put up about a, a cup to a cup and a half of water right now. Alright? Alright, so we have about a cup and a half of uh, water here. So we'll go ahead and add this in. Beautiful. Alright. Mix that around a little bit. golden goose all right so we'll try get this boiled up a little bit and then once that boil up a little bit we'll start adding the rest of the stuff to me hear that so you know let like me say cup and a half of water get it to a boil and then when it start boil up we'll add in everything else all right so just give me a few minutes all right so everything boiling up here so now we're gonna Go ahead and add in the rest of our ingredients. Okay, so what we'll do we'll add in we uh, we'll add in with fish now. And what we, no, what we normally do with the fish, we normally stuff some of the uh, stuff some of the spinach on the inside. You see me? Just put it like that. Wrap him up, and then just put him in, just like that. Okay. And I'll put the rest side on the side. Let this go on kind of steam in with it. Beautiful. Okay. Get your, your piece of thyme. Add that in. Get your sweet bell pepper. Add that in. You're gonna get your okra. Add that in. Let me see all of these. All of these will kind of steam down, you know what I mean? And then we'll get the corn. All of them things they just kind of put it in. Beautiful. Normally when you make this thing, you want to make a decent amount of all these vegetables, these beautiful veg. I tell you man, it tastes so good. Okay. Wash my hand here real quick. Alright, so the last little thing we'll add right now. We'll put, well, the last two little things. We'll put another piece of butter on the top of this fish. And then we'll put a couple pieces of um, scotch bonnet pepper. Okay? We have a little scotch bonnet here and we'll cut up a couple pieces. One, two. Alright. I really want a whole lot still. And then we'll do add another piece of butter right on the top of that. Just like that. Put that right there. And then you're gonna cover this over so when that melts, it's gonna coat the whole fish. Okay? Get your cover. I'm gonna lock this down. 
And then normally what I do, I turn it down a little bit, a little bit less than medium. A little bit more than medium, I should say. So one step up of medium. And just make that one steam. I'll make it steam for probably about 10, 15 minutes. And then we'll take a look and see what's going on. Okay? So give me some time, I'll make that go on steam a little bit. Alright, so this thing has been bubbling for probably about 15 minutes. So I'll take a prep and see what I'll go on. Alright, looking beautiful. So what we're doing in the midst of this probably about probably about it uh it's probably about 10 minutes in. I turn it down a little bit less than medium. Okay? One step below a medium. And um, that's why you know it kinda bubble a little bit slow. But I that we want. So what we'll do I'll kinda taste it now and see what else it needs. It need a little bit more salt or whatever. Cause we never really add a lot of salt. Um, you know, uh, when we have the fish cleaned and everything, I put a little bit of seasoning then on the inside. You know, a little bit of salt there, but not a lot. And you know, like me say, if you want the full recipe with the full instructions and everything. Just sign up to the Patreon and we'll give you everything step by step instructions and all that good stuff. I'll leave the information in the description box for that. But for right now, we'll, add a, we'll probably we'll add a little bit more salt coming on. We'll probably not have enough salt in there right now. So let's taste. Okay. Flavor is very sweet. Vegetable sweet. So we'll add a little bit more salt. kind of finish things off. Alright? So, add a little salt to that and mix them around a little bit and then we can taste and see what I want. Remember the purpose of this thing is you don't want to try to flash cook it too fast. You know what I mean? You want to make it taking time and, uh, and steam down. You know that are basically the purpose of steam fish. You want to make it take him time Taking time, take a nice bubble bath, get nice and cozy, and everything kind. And you know, you know why your things them mash out. You want them take them time and develop them flavor inside of the pot. You know, these things gonna really take a long time to cook either. So you gonna really have to rush, rush this thing. See me? All right. So kind of mixing the salt a little bit that we just add. So now we'll kind of taste and see what's going on here. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll taste up a top here and see if it will reach up there so. See. Tasting good, tasting good. Alright, so what we'll probably all do want to overwhelm this I'll probably add let me taste it a while ago just for it just for it to reach like its optimum capabilities I want to add a pinch more salt to that like I say it's a big fish and I really had a lot of salt before I just want enough to make it taste good so just a pinch you know when I need it you need a whole lot and that's pretty much it you know always taste your food family you know throughout the cooking process so you know how much of this or how much of that more you want. You understand? And like me say, you always cook from the heart. You cook from the heart at the best way that because your food will always come out tasting wonderful. As long as you put the effort, trust me, you will reap the reward. Alright? So I'm going to do now, I'll probably cover this back up. I'll make it one steam for another probably another eight minutes. Probably 78 minutes and then we should be good to go. Okay? Then now plate it and make you see everything what's going on. Alright? So cover this up. Give it another 78 minutes. Less. Roll the boat. Roll the boat. Roll the boat. <laughs> Alright, so with that family, uh, everything is done. Finished. Finito. You know what I mean? Everything looking beautiful. Everything tasting wonderful, and I tell us I'm really excited for the game. So you see me deal with so, you know, when it comes to steam fish family, sometimes, you know, in, in this thing, you don't want to add a whole bunch of seasoning. You want every every vegetable, every every herb kind of present themselves naturally. 
even the salt itself when we use come from the sea, sea salt you know we want to make everything natural everything present itself naturally you don't have to overwhelm it with a whole bunch of seasoning like we see people do let your herbs and let your vegetables them you know make them play them part and make them present themselves and I tell us you'll come out with a wonderful dish okay so like I say it's another wonderful episode really enjoy sharing this with you guys and you know like I say like share subscribe and uh, stay tuned for another episode so bless up one love Monty got be able to sign it out straight